everyone. So I've had loads of questions about how I made our virtual library. And so I thought I'd do a quick little video just to show people kind of just the gist of how to make one if they were interested. Um, I by no means claim the idea behind this. I looked at some fabulous examples on Instagram and on YouTube and then kind of made our own based off of all of those. And so it's I made it using this fabulous website called thinklink.com. All free, very, very easy to use. And when it's all finished and up and running, it generates a link. So if I click this blue button at the top that says share, it creates a link that you can just send out to the children. They follow the link and it takes it to the page. No signing in needed, which I really, really liked. As we all know the pain of trying to get children to log into accounts when they can't remember passwords and things like that. So the overall template I actually made on PowerPoint and I have put that on my Google Drive, on my OneDrive. So if anybody does want it, I'm more than happy to send you the link. Um, but the template looks like this. So this was all made, as I said, on PowerPoint and um, just using the tools that are in PowerPoint. So even just the shelves were just insert and using the shapes that are provided and I just use the cube just to draw and I rotated it just because my OCD I wanted the shelves facing the other way uh, but using the little yellow uh, ball I just made it look like a shelf just by dragging it to the size that I wanted and shape fill and then I just had a picture saved of the of the wood texture, but you could also just go onto texture and wood. And you can see there you've got yourself a makeshift shelf. And that is all this template was just made from using various shapes like that in PowerPoint. So to make the actual document how you would want it is all I did is went onto Google and found the covers of the books that I was going to be putting on our virtual library. And so I've got the Grinch here. Right click, copy image, go across into PowerPoint and paste. Obviously that is way too big for the purposes that we need. So if we just make that smaller. And put it on the shelf wherever you want. Now, obviously you could just leave it like that. That looks absolutely fab as is, but I wanted it to look a little bit more 3D, a little bit more like a book. So I just went into format and clicked this effect that just kind of slightly tilts the book to make it look like it's got a bit of perspective, a bit of 3D, like a book standing up. And once I had added all of the books, it was just a case of converting the, the PowerPoint into a picture. Now, this was an absolute lifesaver to me when I first started teaching, but it's called the snipping tool. So it's on most uh, computers, I believe. The alternative is just pressing print screen on uh, on your keyboard. There is a button that uh, just prints the screen entirely. Uh, but I just find snipping tool is a lot easier to use. So snipping tool. And you can see this is the last uh, snip that I took. Um, but then all I did was slideshow from the current slide. And then I essentially took a picture of my screen like this. So using the snipping tool, I just took a picture of the entire screen. And then this little button at the top, the little save icon, I saved the picture so that it saves it into a picture format. And saved that there. And once I had done that, it was very, very easy from there. So going back into uh, thinklink.com, your page would normally look like this. Once you've made an account, this is how your home page will look. Obviously, you can see my examples here of the libraries that I've made so far. And this is another project that I'm working on trying to make a bit of a virtual library as well. 
So I'm just going to go up to the blue create button and find the picture that I have just saved. Virtual library demo and click open. It then opens your image as a background. And from here, it is just using the tools that you have on Virtu on the Think Link. So I'm going to press the little pen just to edit and add tag. And you can see I've got my little plus sign here, which I can move anywhere that I want. Obviously, when I have more books here, I would have lined them up all on the individual books. But then all it would be add content from website. Now I'm just going to open a new tab and go onto YouTube and type and try and find a video of somebody reading The Grinch. Obviously, this uh, was fun trying to find all the videos for the different books. Some obviously have been read more than others. Some uh, you might have to kind of read yourself, um, but it's just a case of finding them. And top one, so How the Grinch Called Stole Christmas. Top tip, obviously any teachers will know, make sure you've watched the video before you um, put it on there for the children to watch. So obviously I'm not going to watch the video now, but this is just a video of somebody reading the story. And it's just a case of copying, control C, going back into ThinkLink, and I'm just going to paste the website here. And you can see it's already brought the um, video forward. And as soon as I click done, we've got a little plus sign there. And so that when I share the link with the children, all they need to do is click on the plus sign and it will take them straight to that video. Uh, one top tip that I did find while uh, editing and using things on ThinkLink is make sure your privacy settings are set to either public or unlisted. Um, because sometimes if you have it still set as private or something like, oh, my organisation, some of the children won't be able to uh, get onto the document. But then it, so as soon as that is all finished with all of the pictures, I would just click share, share link and copy the link. Just do that again. It went off a little bit quick and just copy the link. And we use our e-learning platform via Seesaw and so and on Natter Hub and things like that and so I just posted the link to the children and they just clicked on the link and followed it through from there so hope that was useful for some people mm -hmm.